I'm going to go ahead and give you an overview of the entire LMS platform so you can see how to navigate the platform and just how easy it is to use. First of all, let's look at the navigation components. On the left hand side, you're going to see four main areas and we're going to cover each of these in more detail in just a minute. The dashboard, your course catalog, your manager dashboard, and tutorials, which is what this video is. Up top, you're going to see the three little lines. If you click that, that's just a slider. It just hides that navigation panel in case you need more room for some reason. I prefer to leave mine out. Over on the right, you're going to see the little bell up top. That is your notifications. If you click on that, you're going to see a list of whatever notifications that you might have. And to the right of that is a drop down where you're going to be able to go to your dashboard, edit your profile, view your grades, edit your preferences, or log out of the system. So now let's take a look at your dashboard. Up at the top, you're gonna to see your name, and under that, you can click to edit your profile, change your password, or modify your email notifications. On the right-hand side, you're gonna see three different boxes. The first one is for company resources, and these resources are available to everybody, all users in this company. The manager files, on the other hand, are only viewable by the manager. Nobody else can see those files. And the employee docs, those are documents that only the individual user can see. So you can, you can upload something to a specific user and rest assured nobody else is gonna be able to see that. No other users can see that. And the main panel is the My Courses panel. And that's where you're gonna be able to see all of the courses that you have assigned to you that you've enrolled in that you need to take and complete. To the right of that, there's a tab, Completed Courses. You click on that, you're gonna be able to see all the different courses that you've taken, when you've completed them, and you can even click to view the certificate of completion. Now the course catalog lists all the different courses available to your company. And you can click page by page, and go through these. Or if you know the name of the title, you can simply start typing it in and then hit go or click enter and it will just list all the courses with, with that uh, word in the title. Below that is the manager dashboard. Now this is where you're gonna spend the bulk of your time. Up top you can see we have a setup guide, there's a users button, courses, learning plans, company, departments, and reports. Let's go ahead and start with the setup guide. The setup guide contains five steps to getting started. First, you're gonna to want to edit your company. Then, you're gonna to want to add users. Then, add departments if you wish. And then you can add learning plans. And we'll talk about each of these here in a minute. And then finally, you're going to want to assign courses to users, and they have three different ways of doing that. So editing your company, let's go there first. When you edit your company, you're going to be able to change, the, of course, the company name, location, those types of things. And you can select the manager emails and when, when and who gets notified on these uh, various uh, email notifications. And then, unlike under user defaults, there's a lot of different things, but I'll just highlight like the, the time zone. You can change the time zone of your company, um, and you can actually change that on a per user basis in case they're located elsewhere. Now, the appearance tab is where you're gonna be able to upload your company logo and change the different colors of the platform itself so that it's unique and fits your look and feel if, if you wanna do that. And then the certificate design is where you're going to be able to customize your certificates. Uploading your logo, you're going to be able to upload a signature file and the title of the person uh, whose signature that is that approves these certificates and signs them. Um, and finally, you've got seat licenses here. That's going to give you an overview of what you've purchased, what's left, what's available, and when the term ends. Once you've edited the company and those preferences, you're going to want to add users, so you just click on the Add Users button. And then you click on the Add User green button to the right. And then you put in the details of each user, and you can submit and create another one um, until you've entered everybody. There is an alternative 
if you have a lot of different users and you can just put them into a spreadsheet, you can contact us and we can get them bulk uploaded for you. Once you've added users, you can decide if you want to add departments. Now this makes sense if you have managers over various departments because it will enable each manager to log in and view the activity of all of their, the users in their department and only in their department. So if you want to add a department, just click on the Add Departments button and then the green Add Department button up top. And then you can name a department, click Save. So once you've added the department, the next step is to add a manager to that department. And you can do that by clicking on the Manage Department Users. Let's go up top, select the department, and then select the role. In this case, it's the Department Training Manager. And from the right, you can select who the manager is and then click Add. And that will add them over to the left and they will become the manager, which means they're going to be able to manage all the users that you're going to select next. To add users, you select the department from up top and then you select the user role and you're going to be able to select all of the different users that are part of that department. And you can multi-select by holding down the control or command key and then select add. Now you've got users added to your department. So the fourth step is to add learning plans. Now these are optional, you don't have to add them, but they are pretty convenient. What a learning plan is, is it's a group of courses that um, you can group the courses so you only have to add that group or that learning plan to a user and they'll get all the courses assigned to them automatically. So simply click the green add learning plan button. So you just give it a name. You can select a due date if there's a specific date when this plan has to be completed by. You can indicate whether or not this is a recurring plan. So Sometimes there are certain courses that have to be recertified or people have to retake every so often. It might be every six months or every 12 months. Well, you can decide here and just put in the number of months and then just check the recurring enable box. And what that will do is it will require each person in that plan to retake it that, that, uh, with that frequency. And then if you do select recurring, you can decide whether or not it's going to be recurring based on a specific due date uh, every year, so it might be, you know, January 1st or whatever, or it could be based on the last time they completed the course. So that's just up to you how you'd like to do that. And then you just click Save Changes. Once you've created a learning plan, it's going to show up here on your learning plans page. And then you're going to be able to make edits to that plan if you'd like. Um, and you're going to be able to edit the courses in that plan. And that's, that's what you're going to want to do next. So if you go to the lines, you click on Edit Courses. And then all of the courses in that, uh, that are available in your company are going to appear here. And just like adding users to departments before, you're going to be able to select or multi-select by holding down the command or the control keys, the courses that are part of that learning plan. And then you just simply click Add. And you can remove them in like manner by selecting them and clicking Remove. That's how you add the courses to the plan. Once you've added courses to the plan, the next step is to add users to that plan. So you'd click on the little people next to it. And then again, a list of all the users appear on the right. And you can select in the same fashion by holding down the, the command or the control key, all the users that you'd like added, and then click the Add button. And now you've got users assigned to your learning plan. Now that, of course, we jumped ahead a little bit there because that's the final step is to add courses to users. Now there are three different ways. I just showed you how to do it by learning plan by clicking on the learning plan and adding the people at once. You can also do it by user or by course. So if you were to do it by user, you just select the user that you'd like. Then your list of users will appear. You can click on the user. And then you go up to the user courses up here. And at the user courses, you can then select all the available courses over on the right, select the one or, or the multiple courses that you'd like this user to have, and just select the enroll button. 
And again, for each of these courses, you can assign a certain date uh, that they're created and whether or not it's a recurring uh, requirement. The second way to add the is by course. So you go to the course listing. In this case, we'll go ahead and select a department, and then we'll select a course. Once we select a course, then all the users appear on the right, and you can assign multiple users and click on the Enroll button. Now the, then all those users will be enrolled in that course. And we've already showed you how to add users to a learning plan by clicking on the Learning Plan button, clicking on the little people icon, and then selecting your users and clicking Add. So real quick, let's go ahead and look at the rest of these tabs. We have the Setup Guide, which we've gone through. The Users, which you've seen now, that gives you a user listing you're going to be able to see all various information about that user. And any of these headers that are in blue, you're going to be able to click, and it will sort alphabetically uh, by just clicking on that header name. Uh, and then again, over here, the user files, you can click on files, you can click on course enrollments and the courses, and you can view completions. Anything that's blue, you can drill down on simply by clicking on that name. And of course, you can add a user, which is what we showed you earlier here. Up top, just like we could in the course catalog, you can search for certain users just by starting to type in and filtering the results. Now, one other uh, important note, if you had suspended users, this only shows the active users unless if you check this button or this box here. So if you check the box, it will also show results of any users that may have been suspended. And of course, you can then filter also by department. On the Courses tab, this is going to show all the different courses. And you can view it by department again. And then you click, and you're going to see all the different courses that are available. You can click on a course and make whatever modifications you'd like, where you can manage who is a part of that uh, course, who's enrolled in it. Now let me point out one other thing here. I just noticed the, the, the red help. If you ever see that on any page, that will show you a video of, uh, that will give you help for that page and what to do. Then moving on to Learning Plans, click on Learning Plans, you can see a list of your learning plans. We've gone over this here. You're going to be able to delete it if you'd like, make edits to it, uh, edit the courses that are part of it, and edit the assignments, the, the users that are part of the learning plan. And then the company tab takes you to the edit company information that we showed you earlier. The departments tab, again, we've shown you this earlier as well. This will show you all the different departments. If you'd like to edit a department, just select the department, click edit departments, and you're going to be able to make the changes that you'd like to, to make there. And one other thing, the departments, if you would like to Man edit the users in that department, that is done right here by clicking on the Manage Department Users. And again, you'd select the department that you want, the user type, and you're going to be able to make those changes. And then finally, over here we have Reports. On the Reports, there's various uh, reports that you can click on to view. This is a user listing report. You can see different information here. Of course, it's registered and completed and logged in. Each of these reports are a little slightly, bit, uh, slightly different. If you wanted to go to the custom user reports at the bottom, I'll just point this one out because there's two different filter types. Um, here are kind of pre-written reports that a lot of people like to have access to. Courses past due, courses due soon, um, assigned, not completed. But then there's also this advanced filter. If you click on the advanced filter, you can just you know filter it down by first name, last name, email address when uh, you know they're enrolled, the, the enrollment date, completion status. It's really uh, very robust what you can do with this um, in, in the, to, to create the custom report that you'd like. And of course, if you click on the download as a CSV file, you'll be able to download that to an Excel file um, and look at the data that way. Well, I hope this overview video has been helpful. Uh, you'll be able to find it uh, along with any other tutorials by going to the Tutorials tab. And of course, if you need to contact us, we have our contact number right up here on the right. 